Hi, Timothy Cameron, the incomplete skeptic here again. I want to talk just briefly about the second principle that we'll be discussing on Saturday's Zoom meeting at 1 p.m. Central Time, and that is the HALT acronym, H-A-L-T, hungry, angry, lonely, tired, and how when we are hopefully not doing all four of those things, that would cause us great disruption, cause really big problems in our life. Um, but when we practice any one of those problems, then it impairs our ability to have a, a good life. Uh, if we don't eat right, as in hungry, and our body is smart, when we're hungry, it needs something, is telling us to eat. Hopefully we trained our bodies right and we eat for the right reasons. And when we eat, we're eating the right things. Well, I'm an American, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there to spend money on junk food, you know, and I suppose a lot of us do that. But uh, we have to be very mindful of our bodies, you know, and we can eat a lot of the wrong things and still be hungry. Your body will be needing something and we might stay hungry longer than what we need to be hungry for had we ate the right things. So our body keeps saying, well, you need this vitamin, you need that mineral. So you keep eating and trying to get that because your body's telling you to do it, but it doesn't tell tell us exactly what to eat necessarily, but you know, you ever had this really big hunger for a particular food? It's like, man, I, I want this. Listen to that because that's your body saying it needs that, you know? And once we learn to really listen to our bodies, we'll have a better chance of uh, doing what is natural. Unfortunately, we turn that button off so many times in our lives and we re replace it with things that are bad for us, drinking, drugging, junk food, etc. So the H in halt, hungry, um, angry, you know, anger is probably the most destructive or one of the most destructive emotions that we can have, right? So um, it impedes our ability to have a peaceful, happy, productive life sometimes, uh, if not all the time. In my case, I don't do well when I'm angry. My ability to function goes way down. So I try to control my anger and not act on it, you know. So um, emotional baggage, emotional excess, resentments, you know. Um, it's probably the things we're most justified about to be angry that are our greatest shortcoming. You know, it's our Achilles heel, if you will. So it's one thing to be angry, but don't act on it. Don't become the thing that you disdain. Um, you know, it's like my sponsor used to tell me, uh, I don't have to invite, uh, attend every fight I'm invited to, right? Never get in, into a pissing contest with a skunk, which is really principle number one that we're going to be talking about. Um, so that's the, the A in HALT, H-A-L-T. The L is loneliness. Um, don't get too lonely. You know, to feel episodes of loneliness, that's probably human. But don't isolate. You know, sometimes we cause our own loneliness through isolation and fear. We isolate because we're afraid or we isolate because we want to do something that is socially unacceptable in our tribe, in our community. Like if you're in recovery, you have to isolate to practice your addiction. You know, you, you can't easily pull out a, a bottle in a recovery meeting, right? Start drinking it. Uh, you're less likely to do it. I suppose people have done it somewhere along the line. But we isolate to do it, right? We have to hide. And, uh, you know, for someone to have their way with us, they have to trap us alone, you know? So stick with the winners, you know? Show me your friends or show you your future. Don't isolate. So that's, that's the L. It's the enemy of a lot of us in recovery, loneliness. Um, H-E-L-T. 
the L and halt. Lastly, we have the T, tired. If we're not getting enough sleep, our brains don't work right. Our bodies don't work right. We can't use our cognitive reasoning forces as well. Um, our reaction times get gets muddled. Um, you know, so make sure you have a, a regimen to where you can actually get enough sleep every day and rest every day. Tired isn't just about sleeping. It might be just about revamping. Some of us need like a 20 minute nap or something, or we need to take some time to meditate in the middle of the day. You know, we take breaks from work. Um, some people do five minutes an hour. Some people do 15 minutes every, uh, you know, three or four hours, whatever it might be, but take time to revamp and re re-energize. Um, you know, being tired is, 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 really bad news. So HALT. I really look forward to people weighing in on what HALT means to them on Saturday. So hopefully you'll join us. If you need the um, the link, let me know to the Zoom meeting and I would have to private message you the password to the meeting. So peace out, y'all. The Incomplete Skeptic, Timothy Cameron.